एवरीवन टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू बी मेकिंग अ ब्यूटीफुल पीकॉक पेंडेंट अनदर वेरिएशन आई नो दैट बोथ द क्ले द पेंडेंट मेकिंग एंड द इयरिंग मेकिंग वीडियो दिस मंथ हैज रिवॉल्व अराउंड पीकॉक सो यू नो स्टिकिंग टू द थीम आई एम स्टिल कंटिन्यूइंग विद दैट फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर पेंडेंट आई थिंक वॉट आई वॉट इज रियली नेसेसरी इज टू एक्चुअली डू अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ अ प्री प्रिपरेशन सो इफ यू सी वॉट आई हैव डन हियर इज मेड सम ऑफ दीज आई जस्ट गेट टू दीज इन अ मिनट this pendant uh, measures a uh, 2 inches by 2 and a half inches the thickness of this particular pendant is 0.6 cm and uh, i'll just keep that uh, away and we'll get to this one this particular piece are small little uh, small little balls of clay you can also measure this in the um, jhumka mold you can either measure it in the second one or the third one based on the based on the size of uh, you know it's it's totally up to you it's your preference and uh, what i've done is measured little balls like this made it into a petal shape and added designs to it i'll just show you how we can actually make these uh, this wire um, or rather uh, the nichrome wire over here you can either use gauge 26 or gauge 28 um, they are just going to be petal shaped well stick beads if you have to you know call them a different name so let's see how we can make those now those pins were made roughly about 2 and a half hours ago just so that they firm up and so my suggestion to you if you're trying to make this particular pendant please get a head start on it so try making these uh, at least the previous day or the previous uh, night and then let it dry overnight completely and then start working on your slab and well the rest of the things so i'll just show you how i made this so generally i just take a lump of clay i pinch out a small ball this just water my clay is a bit a bit on the dry side that's all so once it's made into a petal like this give it a gentle press now remember that you do not want to make this too thin because when you put the nichrome wire inside you don't want this to split into two it has to so have some um, significant amount of clay and uh, so don't press it extremely flat this is a good enough thickness that you can maintain for this once you reach the shape i use this hole maker make a small design like that that's it nozzle needle tool that's it i have about uh, i have cut out this uh, nichrome wire over here and the length of this is approximately 1.2 cm again this varies based on how big or how small this particular piece you make you know it's totally up to you so i just put it in goes in well because you know you don't want to loosely just put it in somewhere so once this is ready you can let this piece dry and that's how i actually made all these so i have a little ball of clay i'll just elongate it a little bit just making it long that's all nothing more now i want this to be a continuous piece now as um, as the earlier video that i had uploaded uh, this month uh, we made worked on the on the body or rather on the neck part separately and on the head part separately today what we're going to do is actually work on the head neck and a little bit of the body almost in continuity so that's one lump of clay which will be which we'll just mold in uh, you know in one go so what we'll do is we'll try pinching a little bit of the head so that we get we get the head run, done always start off with a rough structure and then begin neatening once you are convinced about the entire shape so it just lightens a lot of the weight you know it's it's just unnecessary weight the see this is a lot of clay so you can just cut it off so once i have this structure kind of ready what i'm going to do now is position it once you position it you have a rough marking here 
Score, score, score well because use a good amount because you know this is a significant amount of this is a slightly bigger piece of clay that you have to you know it's a bigger chunk that has to attach itself so and then we do it position it and make sure the sealing is done well very very necessary step don't just leave it just like that you know after you apply slip make sure it's sealed on so that uh, you know uh, even post firing your piece is not going to come apart It's a little bit of oil What we can do is begin working on the designs so for the beak just a little the eye and use this kind of a nozzle and then i would use my needle tool Once that's done, use the nozzle again. Yep, I think that should do. There. I think this is already looking like a very, very pretty bird on its own. And now it comes to this one. At an angle has to be a little bit raised again please be careful of your fingers here and let it gradually open up you know in this manner make sufficient quantity of this these these little petals in there I have this gorgeous beautiful beautiful peacock I am super happy with the way it's done uh, I'll use these little stick beads uh, for the um, for the crown Two of these over here I also have uh, two nichrome uh, wire hooks over here gauge 24 this assembling for this uh, you know this kind of a jewelry is going to be relatively uh, you know i wouldn't add more beads to this uh, you know in terms of the uh, when, while i'm assembling this because it would just make the pendant super super heavy 
so i would rather avoid it put like you know two jump rings and then just a dory and make it a single piece so that you know the attention completely goes on this piece so this is it everyone i really hope you like this particular piece uh, if yes then please like hit the like button and subscribe to our youtube channel thank you so much for your time thank you so much for watching